How's it going, everyone? I'm Nostalgic Dave, and welcome back aboard the Nostalgic Train. So, let's see. We're on the path of helping Yuri again. Which of these words describes what she would say? Brace, maybe? No, that would say Yuri. Crap. Incongruent is definitely Yuri. Um, disarray? Essence? Maybe? Contamination. That one's definitely her. <laughs> After image. Um. Porter? Okay, yeah. Makes sense. Philosophy is definitely going to be her. Um. Crimson? Disoriented? Unrequited? What? Sorry, that's, that word's too complicated for you. Um. Ah, crap. Variants? Vitality. Fulgent. Uh, vibrant? Nice. Massacre? Gee, I wonder why that suits her. <laughs> ah, crap. Climax? Okay. Um... None of these really incapable? Uncanny. Inferno. Okay, we got one Sayori, 19 Yuri. If I don't get a, an out, outcome for Yuri, I'm gonna be upset. <laughs> oh man! I'm the last one here again? I'm not really trying to do voices this time. Maybe I'll do Yur uh, Yuri's and Natsuki's, but the ones that belong to Pink Fox, I'm not really gonna do really i'm just going to do that same one tone i just did mainly because pink fox is right over there resting <laughs> she's probably listening to me she'll probably cringe if i do um, try it. do you really want me to bring out karen mm -hmm. all right fine don't worry i just walked in too were you what? practicing piano again yes yuri she probably was but don't make me laugh so hard, I'll choke. <laughs> yeah, don't do that, please. Don't make any. You have you have your backup if you need it, though. Yeah. <laughs> you must have a lot of determination. Starting this club and now picking up piano. Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. Remember that the club wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of you. Oh, goodness. And I'm super happy that you're all willing to help out with the... Ugh. For the festival, too. No, I can't even speak. Eh, I can't wait for the festival. Okay, now I have to do... Ah, oh, jeez. It's gonna be great. Um... I mean, I know, I, I, I know the voices were very satisfying, but <laughs> I know. Oh, huh. okay. Uh, nice. Nice. Yeah, it helps. It helps. Anyway. Making like fifty cent bloods. Okay. Real life distractions aside. <laughs> It's okay. It's gonna be great! Huh? Were you complaining about it just yesterday, Natsuki? Well, yeah! I'm not talking about our part of the festival. But it's a whole day of school where we get to play and eat and all kinds of delicious food. Okay, Natsuki, we get it. You're a food addict. Mm. <laughs> Is that a bit like Sayori all of a sudden? Yeah! Wait, I've already read this. What am I doing? Skip! <laughs> Oops. Oh, jeez. Um. Monica? Why does it feel like I'm being watched? Please. Nah, shish! I don't need to hear that. Real life has already got a. A stick up my ass. I don't need other people watching me. 
Technically, Amber is in that direction for me. I keep looking that way to try to make it work, but she technically is in that direction for me. So if I look this way, that's why. Why does it feel like I'm being watched? I glance, ar I glance around the room. Suddenly, I notice Yuri peering at me from over her book. She looks away just as quickly with a flustered look on her face. I realize that she won't get anywhere like this. I've never really seen Yuri approach anyone or start a conversation on her own accord. So, I have no choice but to approach her myself. But now, it's a little easier for me to do that. I think I'd said bye now, actually. I don't know. I stand up from my desk and sit in one next to hers. I didn't mean to bother you or anything. Oh, for the love of... Relax, you didn't even do anything. But I could tell that you wanted to be alone with your thoughts. Are you sure about that? That never leads to good things, Yuri. Alone with my thoughts? How were you even able to tell that I was thinking like that? Why would you admit this, Pink Fox? Why? Not the Pink Fox IRL. Well, it's something that I do a lot. Well, at least you're willing to admit that. So it wasn't hard for me to spot based on your posture and expression. Next! <laughs> but not that I was staring or anything. I, I didn't do anything creepy like that. <laughs> In any case, I guess you were right. I'm sorry if I caused you any concern. Don't apologize. Your troubles are all, only the concern of those who willingly share in that concern. I can't speak. I can't read your words. You are too complicated, Yuri. Of course, there are certainly those who find the most comfort in keeping to themselves. Shut up. <laughs> That's all I gotta say to that, Yuri. But if you would prefer to share what's on your mind, then I would be glad to listen. Okay, now you're actually starting to sound like me. Just that one line, though. It's really not that big of a deal. The rest of it just sucks. The rest of it's just, Yuri, get out! Wow. Okay. I was just feeling a bit uneasy about Sayori. Sayori? Yeah. She seems a little off today. When I asked her about it, she didn't want to admit it to me. So I can't help but wonder if something happened to her. Oh? That's quite romantic. How? Eh? S sorry. I didn't mean to say something stupid. I wouldn't call that stupid. I'm just wondering how you're getting that out of what's going on. Sure, whatever, Yuri. It's not that. I just didn't want you to misunderstand. I feel like that's exactly what's happening anyway, Pink Fox. Speaking of Pink Fox, looks like she's having had to take care of something. Anyway. Sayori and I have been just friends for a long time. That's all. Ah, I see. Then perhaps it is unusual for- Whoa, that was fast. Okay. Hold on. Be back in a sec. Little bit of a backstory. So basically, during this, Amber and I are also waiting for food through um, a delivery service, and she was just talking to me about that. Well, jeez, that's just fast. I was like, out in, out in, out in. My brain is gonna hurt from that. <laughs> I wasn't I know. But perhaps it is unusual for her to be dismissive of you about her feelings. Yeah, yeah. You know what, Yuri? You suck. I've already said that, but you suck. Or maybe I'm just reading into it a little too much. You know, it's none of your business, Yuri. I'm going to keep doing this movement until you shut up. Pink Fox. Oops. 
I probably upset her, didn't I? <laughs> yes, I said I upset her and she's giving that face. That makes sense. The world is full of meaning, often hidden deep beneath plain sight. Oh jeez, why are you getting all psychological on me? That was for the earlier video. And there are many untold mysteries behind every person, no matter how well you may know them. True. Ah, so you think that there might be something behind it after all? Uh, I think that Sayori is a very complex person. She ain't wrong. Her mannerisms on the outside don't always match what may be going on inside her head. That, okay, that's been shown. And she may not always know what she wants. I noticed her strange behavior today, too. And I always feel some concern for her. But in your case, it looked like she was fully occupying your thoughts. Wasn't she? Well, I'm too stupid to know, so why don't you tell me? I guess that was the case. Oh, that's a lie. Never mind. Sayori, she really means a lot to you, doesn't she? Uh, I, 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 I guess. This really shouldn't be a guessing thing. But you don't need to put it that way. We're just good friends, that's all. Oh my gosh. I'm going to grunt every time you say something like that, Pink Fox. I am going to grunt every single time. Yuri suddenly looks deeply into my eyes. Oh jeez, she's reading me. This feels weird. It's not so much weird when IRL Pink Fox does it, but when you do it, it's just like, uh... Stop it! I'm pretty sure I told you to stop it like four times already in this video. Stop! Her expression is gentle and curious, as if she was searching for something. Okay. Embarrassed, I avert my gaze. Sometimes, a person's mysteries are untold even to themselves. Yeah. And you, as someone honest and caring, may uncover feelings you weren't aware were, you, were in you. You're not supposed to know about what I'm gonna do like six episodes from now. Ugh. Sure feels like it. But that's... I, I think that she would be a very fortunate person. Whoa. To have you feel that way about her. Yuri? Okay, I'm not gonna tell you to shut up this time, but... You're giving me too much credit. Ugh. Again... Gonna keep grunting, because this guy's a dumbass. I'm a pretty simple guy. So, yeah. <sighs> bit too simple. So I think I'm pretty good at understanding my own feelings. No, you're not. You suck at it, dude. <laughs> I'm not nearly as sophisticated as you. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, uh, that's not a compliment, is it? <laughs> Smells like one to me. It is what it is. Oh, for the love of Pete. Yes, it was a compliment. I don't know why I'm giving Yuri compliments. I wanted her to shut up and now she won't stop talking. <laughs> anyway, as long as we're here, why don't we do some reading? Yeah, the quietness ain't happening. Well, as long as you're okay with it. Yeah, I should be taking my mind off this whole thing anyway. Oh, okay, we're to this. Time for skipping. Ah, jeez. Alright, let's get Natsuki's over with. It's not gonna be good. Yeah, no thanks! Eh? You didn't even... Next! Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> that's what I figured it was gonna happen. Alright, Monica, your turn. Hi, Pink Fox! Have you thought about what you want to submit to perform at the festival? Well, wait. Did we already read this? Ah, okay, there we go. Your style's gotten so refined, Pink Fox. Yuri's been teaching you a lot of things, hasn't she? Well... I, I guess so. Yeah, I've been no 
noticing how much time you spend with her. I, I think I've heard her say more words these past couple days than she's talked in the whole year. Not sure how you do it. That's pretty impressive. Okay. Well, she just needs some patience and a way to talk about all the things in her head, I guess. Still getting the hang of it myself. Hmm. You're certainly putting a lot of effort. You must really like her. Huh? That's... <laughs> it's awfully suspicious, you know. Monica, shut up. Spending time with her in the club room every day? Reading the edgy novel with her? Well, I just feel bad that she has a hard time socializing. Makes me want to make sure she doesn't spend all her time alone. Sheesh. I mean, that's pretty reasonable. For someone, some, for an idiot, this, play, this character is being actually pretty reasonable. For once. Besides, novel isn't too bad either, you know. Alright, alright. I get you. Wait. What? Since when do you talk like that? Just be careful, alright? I know that you're isn't used to opening yourself up. So if something bad happens while she's vulnerable, then it could be really hard for her. Uh-oh. Her books aren't a total escape from reality. They're just a bandage. You say that like I'm going to hurt her. Sorry, I, I didn't really mean that. If anything, she might accidentally hurt herself. Anyway! I'll share my poem with you now, alright? Uh, <laughs> bye. And, sorry, your turn. Do I have to? I kind of figured we already read this. Alright, Yuri. What are your thoughts? Pink Fox. Your writing has only improved in these last three, last few days. Every poem you've shown me has been nothing short of spectacular. I can really feel the emotions. I'm a little envious, even. Okay, shut up. For the billionth time, shush. Why did I even say that? I haven't even read that, and that's you. I don't think it ever came to me this naturally. Yuri, that's the wrong way to put it. This never did come naturally to me. But I've been able to improve so much thanks to you. You're really the example I was chasing after. Okay. I is that so? Yuri gently smiles to herself. This feeling. I'm so glad I got the chance to share my writing. I never thought it would feel like this. I remember you mentioning that yesterday. Wait, that's me. Ah, oh, jeez. Here we go again. I remember you mentioning that yesterday. I can't believe that you're so good at something and you've never even shared it with anyone. Careful. Pink Fox is trying to get out to get food, but she's tripping over blankets. <laughs> the, the IRL one. <laughs> it's kind of a shame. Maybe, but... It's not like I really had a choice. Bullcrap. What do you mean? Well? Yuri smiles sadly. Big Fox, during lunchtime, I eat by myself. Oh boy. Uh-oh. Did you know that? It's a great time to find a quiet spot and do some reading. In fact, I always have some books with me. You could say I really enjoy reading. Well, that's one way to put it anyway. But books are so full of amazing and inspiring people. People you want to fall in love with. Oh, jeez. Oh, 
people you just know would make a really good friend. Cheerful people who always put a smile on your face. Or deep thinkers and problem solvers who discover the mysteries of life. So when you look at it that way, I'm surrounded by friends every day, you know? And those friends don't laugh at me. Wow, heavy. They don't tease me for spacing out all the time. They don't make fun of my body type. Um, and they don't hate me for acting like a know-it-all. People... People say that about you? Okay, I'm not going to tell her to shut up this time. I'm not a know-it-all, pig fox. It's the opposite. I don't know anything. I don't know how to I don't know how to talk to people. I don't know how to make people see me as normal. I hate that term. No one is normal, Yuri. I don't even know how to make myself happy. Break. Okay, a little bit of a food incident. Pardon the interruption. I don't even know how to make myself- I already read that. I have all these feelings. And all I can do with them is read and write. But it wasn't until now that I started sharing it with you. That I really understood what was missing all this time. Ooh. Pink Fox, if you don't pick up on this, that's just pathetic. But I haven't really done any- <sighs> No. That's wrong. Just being patient and respectful. That's really important to me. I know I'm a difficult person, Pink Fox. I speak too slowly. I second guess myself all the time. I read too deeply into things. But every time, you've always treated me just like anyone else. It's so rare that I feel comfortable with myself when I talk to others. But that's why every time I talk to you, I just feel really happy. I see. Well, I treat you how you deserve to be treated, Yuri. Actually, I, I can concur with that. And if other people don't see it that way, then screw them. I can concur with that statement, too. <laughs> I mean, I joined this club hoping I would make friends. More pink fox alert. <laughs> oh, wait. Ah, there. <laughs> you have been bitten. <laughs> no. That is not a bite. It's a YouTube bite, I guess. I don't know. I don't know how to... I am not biting you in any other way. That's all I gotta Such say. A that. Dork. I I don't know. I don't know anymore. Anyway, I mean, I joined the club hoping I would make friends. I would say I've had at least one success. That's better than zero. <laughs> Wouldn't you? Uh, um, if you put it that way, yeah, we really are friends now, aren't we? Are you two really that blind? I feel like everyone in this visual novel is about that blind. Yuri puts her head in her hands. You having fun playing with the bag over there? <laughs> I get very sidetracked very easily. <laughs> but this time, she's smiling as she does it. Okay. Do you want to show me your poem? Yeah. Yeah, I actually get to read a poem from Yuri now. I do. Hey. I didn't get to do it the first time around, remember? I said yay. Oh, you said yay. I thought you said hey. I blame the game. Let me get what it for you. losing your hearing now? Okay, ooh. Okay, Ghost Under the Light Part 2. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow. Bathing. In the distance, a blue. Huh? That's my loving. Yeah? 
but this is literally talking about the color, not a name. <laughs> anyway, in the distance, a blue-green light flickers. A lone figure crosses its path. A silhouette obstructing the eerie glow. My heart pounds. The silhouette grows. Closer, closer. I open my umbrella, casting a shadow to shield me from visibility. But I am too late. He steps into the streetlight. I gasp and drop my umbrella. Light flickers. My heart pounds. He raises his arm. Time stops. The only indication of movement is the amber light flickering against his outstretched arm. The flickering light is in rhythm with the pounding of my heart. What the heck? Did you guys hear the bang or is it just me? I heard it. Okay, I'm it's not upstairs. crazy then. In that sense, I'm not crazy then. Yes, Yay. You uh, let's see. Yes, you are crazy. Anyway, <laughs> the flickering light is in rhythm with the pounding of my heart, teasing me for succumbing to this forbidden emotion. Have you ever had have you ever heard of a ghost feeling warmth before giving up on understanding i laugh understanding is overrated i touch his hand the flickering stops ghosts are blue green my heart is amber yeah that actually that sums it up for me at least because this is fiance's real name no one needs to know that, even though, let's be honest, anybody who's seen anything with you in it probably knows that by now. <laughs> I don't mind. I'd rather be open about it. Finishing the poem, I start to hand it back to Yuri, but instead of taking it from me, she looks away. Do you dislike it? Uh, no, of course not. That's the poem you get if you share, if you pick Yuri for all three times. I just don't really know how I should respond. Despite Yuri's poems usually being cryptic, it wasn't hard to figure out what this one was about. I, I don't know if I'll be able to explain this one. That's fine. I understand this one. Yuri is having an even harder time speaking than usual. Does this one mean a lot to you? Yuri nods. Not really good with words, but I'm happy that you shared it with me. So thank you. And I hope we keep spending time together. Oh, that was sweet. Despite my inability to make eye contact, I see a faint smile emerge on Yuri's lip. I once again try to hand the poem back to her, but instead, Yuri gently takes my hand and pushes them back toward me. I hesitate in response to her warm touch. You could. Um, the poem is... Keep it? <laughs> this is why I was saying shut up, Yuri. Now you can't even talk. Although it's understandable this time around, so... Still. Once again, Yuri fails to form a complete sentence. You mean, you mean I can keep it? Yuri nods. I'd love to. Again, Yuri faintly smiles. As if she doesn't want me to notice. You always... You always make me feel nice. I know I'm not good with people, but... I hope that... I can return the favor sometimes. Yeah. Don't worry. I think you do a good job. Yuri finally turns back toward me. I guess we should move on before Marco says anything. But I'm sure we can talk again later. Yeah, I'm sure we will. With that, Yuri timidly smiles at me, and I return to my seat so I can put her poem away. Time to skip a bunch of things. Skip time. Yeah, that's right. All y'all shut up, especially you, Yuri. <laughs> wow, okay, I, can I can't even keep up with this. My brain is hurting. Oh, whoa. I'm going to go with Yuri this time. Well, I'll probably be most useful helping out Yuri. With me? Are you serious? Why would you? Natsuki? I can already tell you're about to say something mean. 
No. It's just saying. Ugh. So you'll be helping your event pink folks? Yeah. That's what I'm doing. That's what I'm going to do. Oh good. I have a bad habit of overthinking these sort of things. So I think your assistance will be very useful. That's great to hear. Natsuki, will you be able to handle the making yourself? I mean, yeah! They already said I would be fine. Okay, okay. Everyone can tell that Natsuki... That's not Monica specifically. Everyone can tell that Natsuki is feeling a little sour, yeah. So, is that everything we needed to go over? Yeah, that should be all about it. Are you guys excited? Well, excited may not be the right word. But I suppose I'm looking forward to it a little bit. A little? Knowing how these always turn out, Yuri, I'm pretty sure it's more than just a little. Do you feel the same way, Pink Fox? Me? Uh, I, I guess you could say I'm interested to see how it all turns out. Okay, that's the same as last time. That's good enough for me. What about you, Natsuki? Natsuki? Yeah, that's pretty... I I saw Pink Fox on... I was like, yeah, that's, that's pretty much what Natsuki's doing. <laughs> what? Why is everybody yelling at me? I didn't even do anything! N no! That's not what I meant at all. Uh, Yuri anxiously glances between everyone in the room. I I'm sorry for this. I, I don't really know why Pink Fox picked me. And also, your cupcakes are the best cupcakes I've ever had. They go really well with my team. And nothing that I do for the event will compare to that, so... So, I get it, I get it. I'm kind of surprised, though. Why? Um, well, I need one acting immature. I already know that. You're trying to cheer me up all of a sudden. So? I, I know I'm not very good at it. I, I'm sorry if I said something bad. Natsuki isn't the one surprised. Natsuki's not the only one surprised, apparently. Okay, same concept as Natsuki, taken aback by the words. Look, okay, this part's different. When she already has trouble with words, trying to cheer someone up must be far out of her own comfort zone. But I begin to understand. Like Natsuki when we were going down that path, Yuri was trying to sound like Sayori. Even if it didn't work perfectly, I can tell that she tried to say something Sayori would say at a time like this. Because Sayori always helps everyone smile and feel good about themselves. No. I kind of appreciate it. I'm sorry. I'm making a big deal out of nothing. I'm going to say this. You better bet that my cupcakes are going to be the best part of the whole event. Oh. I believe you. Yeah. I hope to see everyone do their best. But with that, there's nothing more for today. So I guess it's time for us to head out. Alright, let's get out of here then. Uh, everyone packs up their things. I start to follow Monka and Natsuki out the door as they chat between each other. Uh, um... Huh? I turn around. Is this basically just the same thing as Natsuki? Just get Yuri's number or is there going to be something special in this? Sorry. I realize that I don't have any way of contacting you this weekend. Okay, not exact same dialogue. Oh, you're right. Can't believe that slipped my mind. Should I give you my phone number? Probably a good idea. I think that would be the best way, yes. Alright then. Yuri and I exchange phone numbers. Okay. Pink Fox says, I think we, are you trying to wonder like how much time is left on this? No. Or something? Uh, give me like five minutes. Okay. Then we'll be stopping by your house on Sunday. Okay. No, we'll be stopping by my house now. 
You're already stopping by the other pink fox's house, apparently. Oh. Huh? My house? Why does everybody want to visit my house? First Natsuki, now you? What, is Monica just going to randomly show up at my door and say, Hey, yeah, I'm coming over. I'm like, Ugh. Is that a problem? N no, no, not at all. I, I just thought that I would be the one going to your house since... I it's this guy knows nothing. Oh, I suppose that makes sense. Oh, of course it does, you know, because why not? But if you don't mind, I, I think I would prefer to go into your home. Alright. In that case, it won't be a problem. I decided not to press Yuri for a reason. That's a good idea. It's not like I sh it should matter much either way. So I'll just need to make sure my room is, bleh, is clean. I hope I manage to make myself useful in some way. I'm not nearly as creative as you are. Don't underestimate yourself, Pink Fox. I think that will make a very productive team. Even if you only cho chose me because you felt bad or something. Shut up. <laughs> That's all I gotta say at this point. Wait. You don't actually think that, do you? I don't know. It's difficult to come up with any other reason you may have chosen me. Shut up, Yuri. <laughs> You're forgetting the one reason with the most common sense. I chose to help you because that's what I want to do. But... Yuri thinks to herself with an extremely tense expression. Yuri, you're overthinking this. You want me to point out when you're overthinking, right? Huh? I didn't realize... I'm telling you, I want to. That's all there is to it. Do you believe me? I... Yuri thinks really hard again. You know, because she can't think for herself without thinking till her brain explodes. She looks straight into my eyes for a long while. I believe you. As if it took her tremendous effort, for some weird reason, Yuri finally says that and relaxes her expression. And I'm really looking forward to Sunday. Yeah, I am too. After that exchange... I make my way out the door, and Yuri follows. And time for Skippy Skips. Did you just say Skippy Skips? Yes, I said Skippy Skips. <laughs> what did and, I get myself into? I'm gonna leave this video here. Um... Not quite done with Yuri yet, but by the time next, the end of the next episode, that should finish up Yuri. Then we'll rewind and take care of... I wonder if we can... We can't really help Monica at all, but we'll take up care of them because I want to do Sayori full on last. So what I'm going to do after that is I'm going to go through and get three little poems that you would get if you didn't help the same person all three days. That'll be the goal of the episode after next. But for right now, as I said, I'm going to leave this video here. So thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Doki Doki Literature Club. It's kind of saddening that Pink Fox wasn't able to join us today again, but she does have to take care of herself, and that's understandable. Um, if you guys want to check out uh, another visual novel that this channel has run by, uh, click the link in the bottom right hand corner and try and take you to that destination, or across my head will be any of the stuffs on this ride that you guys may have missed. In the meantime, though, this train is off to its next destination, but we hope to catch you guys in another ride. Bye!